So somewhere yonder in the middle of this video, I talk about something that is integral to the success of being an online reseller. It's just something we have to do. There's no way around it. And you know, this is YouTube. You can skip right to that, but you'll probably be missing some pretty cool stuff. Maybe not. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hey there, funky fans, and welcome back to the depths, the utter pits of YouTube. And if you've been here before, you must be some kind of masochist, but I'm headed down to a local Salvation Army. The Salvation Army up here is not very nice. Let's get into the Salvation Army and see if we can find any treasure amidst all this trash. So I know from previous trips here that they don't have a lot of hard goods here on the shelves, but they do have a ton of clothes. I don't love selling clothes, but I do sell a decent amount of clothes, and I do pretty well. They're very profitable items, especially these small town thrift stores. They're not very picked over. They're not like the Goodwills where a lot of clothes sellers traditionally go to those. It's small towns are great for finding really cool vintage old retro clothes. White and blue tags, 50% off. Green tags, spoiler alert, we will be finding some of those 50% off tags. And boy, am I excited. We turn around the corner here, you'll see the shelves are kind of bare. It's kind of sad. There's not a ton of options. It's kind of like Oliver, little Oliver's pantry, and it's kind of bare. We might not be eating just like little poor Oliver tonight. However, I did find this cool caloric wine center. Uh, it's asking 20 bucks, brand new in the box. I thought that was pretty steep, but I didn't want to assume, so I opened up my Amazon app, scanned the barcode, and see it's selling for about 60 bucks. Pretty shocking, actually. But you can see right in the, the center of the screen, it says requires approval, meaning I am not currently allowed to sell this brand. However, something cool that you can do right on the home screen of the Amazon selling app, hit that little button down at the the bottom, I circled in a, like a little children's drawing of red. It says request. So you just hit that button and you're gonna get this screen that pops up with a, a yellow button that says request approval. Now two things are gonna happen. One of two things, you're either gonna get a screen that says submit paperwork that gives you authority straight from the company so you can sell their products. I don't recommend that unless you're gonna be a wholesaler and you're gonna sell a lot of this particular item or their products, but this is just a one-off. So I'm not gonna go that route if that happens. However, this other screen, if you hit this button, you might see something that looks just like this, which actually says your selling application is approved. Yay! And you just hit okay. So I was immediately approved just like that. And so what I do is just hit okay. I close the app and I open it again, scan the barcode. And as you can see, I no longer it says, uh, it no longer says requires approval. I've been approved and it happens just like that. So don't, you know, all hope is not lost if you're out in the wilds and you see this happens to so you just see what happens. And now I can make 20 bucks off this thing. Pretty cool. So we're going past the uh, the bear bear shelves here, and I do find this Boy Scout looking thing. It's not Boy Scouts, so though. It's Royal Rangers. And sometimes these patches, the shirts aren't really worth much, but the patches can be. These particular patches weren't worth a lot. This shirt, I could have got $5 for all of these patches, but uh, that's enough saying patches for one video. But for for your sake, do keep an eye and learn about some, some patches. L.O. Bean, a brand uh, everybody knows. Uh, it's a trusted brand. Some so, some items are good and some aren't. And season can matter as well. This is a you know this is a warm jacket. It's spring and summer coming up, and this is on sale seven bucks. I think I can get like thirty or forty bucks in the fall. So I do buy this. It's a very nice jacket. It's very clean. So I'm going to hold on to it until the fall or or winter, and, and I think I can get about forty bucks for it, 35, 40 bucks. And then we're headed to. I do find some cool. If you've been here before. I love selling board games and I find this Monopoly Fortnite. And I sell board games on Amazon specifically. It's not easy to make a profit on eBay with used board games, but I can make about uh, eight bucks or so on this particular game on Amazon. And then I find this cool uh, giant, giant plush and it's brand new with tags, only six bucks, which I was, I think that's a really good price. You can see it sells for about 40 bucks. Uh, even used on eBay. So I was pretty impressed that this was here and it's brand new. I think I can get maybe 45 to 50 bucks on this uh, this giant Lion King Disney plush. It's pretty cool. And then again, with spring and summer coming up, you can get a premium for things that are in season. So I'm going to go through these swim trunks. And a lot of these have the, the blue and, uh, and, and white sale tags. I found this brand, Castaway. Never heard of it, Castaways. They're not worth much. They look nice. They, they feel kind of nice, but... Uh, I was shocked that they actually aren't worth selling, but right behind it, we see this Speedo. I know that logo is Speedo. Speedos are really high quality. They, they tend to have really high quality. These are super clean. These are mediums. I think I, and some things are worth it. Again, this is a brand that some things are worth it, some aren't. I think I get like 15 to 20 bucks and these were half off, $4 a half off. So I only paid two. So I'm going to make money even if I sell them at 12 bucks. And then I find this, this is Tommy Bahama. Again, I want to make sure this wasn't like a, a knockoff, knockoff brand. So not, it wasn't like Bami Tahama. So I do check the label inside. And again, I talked about this in my last video. These are size small. Size small don't sell as well as the larger sizes. They will sell, but it might be not quite as much money and it might take a little longer to sell. However, Tommy Bahama, I'll sell these for 20 to 25 bucks. And again, they were only two bucks. Then I find these cool 
uh, like retro Hawaiian Batman Robin shorts. Again, half off. I'm only paying two bucks for these. I find a similar pair for, for 20 bucks on eBay. So I think I can get, you know, about 20 bucks for these. And again, only paying two. I just found out about this brand in a thrift store last week, Maui and Sons. They make seem to make really cool, bright. People love these bright things during the summer. So uh, again, I paid, I think two bucks or maybe $2.50 for this. And Maui and Sons is a new brand that I just learned about. And uh, I'm glad I did because now I'm finding their stuff. And I think I can get about $25. At the very end of the rack, I found these. I didn't know what the brand they were. They ended up being Columbia. Columbia is generally a good good brand to sell. And uh, they have so many clothes out there that sometimes it's really easy to, to get oversaturated on eBay. However, uh, when you get it cheap, I'm always going to buy these. these. I paid $2.50 and I could sell these for 20 to 25 bucks. And, uh, and they're really clean. They're really nice. They're solid, uh, solid shorts for $2. And overall message to this video, especially if you're new to reselling, which a lot of my friends and family are, is that there are no shortcuts. Unfortunately, there are, there are some cheat codes and some hacks, things like watching this video, watching other YouTubers, spending a lot of time on YouTube to see what other resellers are selling. That certainly can help expedite the process of, of learning what to look for. If a brand or item is new to you and you don't know its value, you just have to spend time looking it up. That's something that a lot of people aren't expecting to take as much time as it does. And that seems to be the one deterrent to a lot of people that I do initially talk to about reselling. They get very overwhelmed about what the value of stuff, where to look, what's worth money. That's just something you, you have to spend time. But hey, that's also one of the reasons I made this YouTube channel is to help others because that's how I learned so much is watching other YouTubers and finding what they sell and how much they sell it for. And honestly, I've been doing this 12 years and I'm still looking stuff up, still discovering new products and brands. And brands like this, Marmot. Marmo, I don't know how to say it. And uh, this was eight bucks, it was a little high, but it's high quality, it will sell. Unfortunately, you can see the zipper here. It's just like, it has a lot of waves, this weird look to it. So I ended up leaving that. There's waves like my fourth grade teacher. It didn't really, didn't really, wasn't really working for me anymore. But right behind it, I found this awesome retro shirt. Um, really cool. I love these bright colors, this retro vintage look. It's the Hunt Hunt Club, which I wasn't too familiar. I had heard of it, but didn't assume it had much value. But holy smackaroonies, it's selling for about 70 five bucks and yes i said holy smackaroonies and even these other ones are 40 to 50 dollars and i'm only paying like two dollars or two dollars and fifty cents for that shirt billabong billabong uh hawaiian shirt billabong i always keep an eye out for i think i get about 20 ish bucks for this especially with spring and summer coming up so billabong's a brand i look out for this is an adult uh a onesie grinch i'm gonna hold on to this until Christmas season at the end of the year. So I'm only paying five bucks. This was half off. By the way, onesie, you can't use the word onesie as it is a trademark term. So don't put onesie in your eBay listing or your item will be taken down and you will be given a warning. Another cool retro shirt. Never heard of this brand, but I knew to look at it because it's so retro and vintage looking. I get about $25 with shipping for this thing. I think I paid $2.50 for that. Bugle Boy. I remember Bugle Boy. I used to be a Bugle Boy growing up. Maybe I'm still Bugle Boy. Maybe I'm a Bugle Man. I don't know. Bright colors. They do well. People love these these old vintage bright colors and Bugle Boy is such like a fun brand. It's four bucks. I think I can get like $35 for that. Floor Sheem. I think that's how you say it. Floor Shine, Floor Sheem. Found these shoes. They're selling for, or they're, they're uh, Salvation is selling them for six bucks. Decent price. I find uh, similar comps online for about 35 bucks with shipping. However, I don't know if you can see it on camera very well. It's got like some indentations. Um, so I ended up leaving these behind, but unfortunately, yeah, that I just, I didn't feel comfortable selling though. So we got this great, it was a really good score. I didn't expect to find so many great clothes. So let's go over some numbers. So I had a pretty good day, invested 70 bucks, gross sales at $503. That does include the shipping money that I collected and also the taxes that eBay collects for you. After fees net, we're looking at $302. Shipping supplies, five bucks. That's being pretty generous, all things considered. Total pocket cash that goes in me pockets, $227. I do set aside 15% of taxes of that net pocket cash every year. Between that and then the, the write-offs that I get, that 15%. Uh, no, no pro in the old tax department, but it uh, seems to be working out for me 
from year to year. So let's break that down into an hourly salary. Tra- travel to this place was about uh, about 20 minutes-ish. Thrift experience alone was about an hour. List pack, ship this stuff. It's going to be another 45 minutes for the listing, 45 minutes to pack and ship this stuff up. We're looking at about three hours. Hourly wage, $75 an hour. I don't know about you, but I'll take that every time. If we if we consider what we're taking out for taxes there, we're looking at a $64 hourly wage. Wage. 